Hello, Year 12 physicists. Uh, one or two people in Mr. Shee's class are having a wee spot of bother understanding what's going on here. And I thought I would make a little YouTube video clip uh, with Mr. Shee's uh, PowerPoint to give you a hand. Um, with a bit of luck, you should be recording my laser pointer here. These rays come in here, this direction, and the wave fronts come in perpendicular to them. When they hit a, a region where the waves go slower, one side of the wave slows down first, and the other side of the wave keeps going quickly, which causes a wave to bend. If this side's going slow and this side's going fast, this side will catch up and kick, kick the wave around. That causes the wave to change direction. And the two, ratio of the two velocities, the speed out here divided by the speed in here, is equal to the relative refractive index. That's also equal to the large wavelength out here divided by the wavelength in here. You can see that the wavelength here is shorter than the wavelength there. And um, it's also equal to the sine of the angle from the normal around to the incident ray, the sine of that angle, divided by the sine of the angle from the normal around to the ref refracted ray. So you finish up with these three equal signs in a row. The wavelength ratio, the velocity ratio, the sine ratio, all these things give you the relative refractive index, which is a way of describing, in this particular case anyway, how much light slows down by. If the refractive, relative refractive index was 1.5, that means the light rays in the area here, sorry, the water rays or whatever, water waves, will be going uh, this speed divided by 1.5. And I think that's a good place to stop just there.